I'm trying to figure out why I'm so fucking stressed. I feel so weird and out of place and like weird. Like I just feel like I have no purpose or identity because basically I feel I'm going through a phase where I feel shit at everything artistically and I can't play guitar for shit and I just can't play guitar and it's so um it's so limiting because I can't fucking do anything so I make songs and then I become obsessed with the songs and I love the songs that I make and then I hate them I hate them so much and I just want them to never exist and I just hate them and I think they're so bad and I have that with so much of what I've create what I create like I'll make something like and I'll fall in love with it and then be like I fucking hate this like two weeks later I'll be like I fucking hate that and I want to burn it and that's why I always sell my art because I don't want to keep it because I always end up hating it so like what am I supposed to do about that and also it's actually fine because everything's gonna be fine but um I think I just need a cigarette or something because I'm just so angry and I don't know why um, you know when you play guitar and you just want to smash the guitar off the ground because you're like, I can't play this because I'm shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's just what's happening. Um, I've just been go, go, go for the past like two months and I'm just tired, you know. And I feel like I'm not actually being productive, like I'm not, nothing's coming out of it, you know. I feel like I'm just kind of, I don't know. more than two. This all stick for the spring rolls three months. You wanna try it? I can't have a spring roll right here from the chicken wings. But I like those that chicken wings are anyway, so which I can tell some wisdom from you. Like if Jay's just one of those people who just eats everything that he sees. She's been real good and content right now. It's because she loves to make it. Hello. It's Black Friday. Oh Jesus. So Is it a nightmare work? I'm on balls, like, but well, I'm always on balls. I don't know if she's coming in, I think she might be. But, um, but, like, I was just, like, today, such because the ground floor door was open, and I'm, like, servicing, and I was just, like, literally basking in sunlight, just being, like, mm. Lord. And then this woman came in, and she was, like, talking about how her kid, her kid, she showed me a PowerPoint presentation that her child had made her for what she wanted for Christmas, and I was, like, I literally that is her daughter. Oh, like, my literally God. literally give me her contact details. Oh she was 15, and she made a PowerPoint of what she wanted for Christmas. Hey, so I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So I was literally, like, I'm obsessed with your daughter. Please put her on to me. Um, and then and then she was being, like, yeah, you see, she'll get everything she asks for because she asks for so much. Mm. But, like, the other ones that are will be diddled, but it's because she's cheeky. And I was, like, but that's because, like, asking you shall receive. Yeah. When I said it, I felt like God had said it to me. 
Do you know what I mean? Asking you shall receive, and then I was just on a pause. But then you were one obviously kind of having a manic episode because I was like, asking you shall receive. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I sent out my STD test today. Woohoo! Wait, congrats. Mm -hmm. That's so good. I don't have chlamydia. That's so like adult of you. I know, yeah. I no, Ellie, it was insane. Sarah, she goes, oh, I need to post. And then a post box appeared yeah, in front of us. Like yeah. a post box that I've never, Ellie, I've never seen it in my whole life. What? Like the corner of Wait. Big. Have you ever seen a post box in front of Pig? No. Yeah. I was like, I've literally never seen that post box ever. Sarah was like, I'm just magic. <laughs> what the fuck? That is magic. Yay. You look so pretty. Yes. Basically, yeah, my gig's on Monday and I'm dreading it. I was thinking about it yesterday and um, cause basically, I never have like, my sisters always have like celebrations for them, if you know what I mean. It feels like anyways, like they're always being celebrated and I'm not because like, Keelan lived in London and then she'd come home and there'd be like a celebration and it'd be all about her and then like Ellie's in college, was in college and she graduated and like there was a lot of like, um, there was a lot of goals reached, you know, for her for that or whatever. I just feel like because my accomplishments are so much more like subtle and you can't really like see them, they're more like, um, but then Keelan was just like, you just don't make things about yourself. Like you, me and Ellie like make things about herself and we're like, okay, everyone's gonna do this and like we make it happen. But I don't cause I just get, I just get really like scared about, I get really upset um, about it for some reason. I don't know why. When I was younger, my, for example, I remember like I was in Billy Barry and I was like, performing and I remember I saw my mom in the audience and I started crying like because it made me really upset that she like came for me and it like made me feel bad for myself kind of and I don't understand why and like even for example we're going out for drinks tonight and like something happened to me that is like worth giving me attention and then I was like gonna be like can we make it about me tonight and like everyone and then I was like imagining everyone like cheersing their drinks to like to me and then I started like almost crying because it made me really upset for some reason like it makes me feel really bad for myself or something or like really obsessed and I don't know why and so like the gig is really affect and I'm not even trying to be like I don't want attention because I do but like the gig is like upsetting me because it's like imagining my family and friends in the audience makes me really upset like that they're like it's more my family that it's like they're watching me for me and that they're coming like just to see me for some reason like I don't know if anyone else relates but like it, I don't know why it's just like it makes me want to like crawl into a hole and like never do anything again if you know what I mean um but yeah I've been dreading it and what but so what, what my affirmation is just like I surrender to the flow of life and like I was saying that last night and it's just so good like saying that like I surrender to the flow of life is just so good because I actually do surrender to the flow of life and then it's just like because it's just like there's so much resistance and your resistance is what creates more suffering is like well what creates suffering is just resisting the pain or resisting the fear instead of like embracing it or like looking at it through the lens of love and so I keep resisting it and I keep resisting things in my life and I'm like oh no this stresses me out like I need to do something and take action but sometimes you don't you don't need to take action and you'll know when you need to take action and I know that right now in my life I just don't need to take any more action I just have to like melt into like the kind of in the hat like surrender to whatever God wants me to do or whatever um and it feels like it's all in your hands when it's something like that where it's like a gig where you're like obviously physically doing it it's like oh my god like it feels like so much pressure and it feels like you have to like be in control but like you just have to let whatever happens happens because I know that like whatever I don't know what's gonna happen it's the uncertainty that's making me so scared because it's like I could get on stage and then I just freak out and start crying or I could get on stage and like like I don't know do you know what I mean but like I know that when I'm by myself and I'm singing I like it and I like my, so my songs and I like my voice and stuff but like obviously when you have like an adrenaline rush and stuff like that it's like it's like obviously you don't know what's gonna happen so it's just the um it's the uncertainty that's making me not want to do it. And it's because I, yeah, because I want to be in control. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not in control, do you know? So I don't really know what I'm doing. So, and I know I look really ugly. I just took a shower. Um, but anyway. And like, you make things so scary in your head. Obviously, you know that. But like, you just have to, as soon as like, if something happens or whatever, that's really bad. Or like, 
you're scared at any point it's just like closing your eyes and being like okay i know this is cliche but it's like where the feel where's the feeling in my body because you don't acknowledge it that it's just a feeling and that it's like what's making the feeling so scary is the thoughts attached to the feeling and the thoughts and all thoughts are made up so it's all just made up and everything is actually okay because when you're feeling those feelings all you're doing is like riding on a bus or you're waking up or you're in your bed or you're looking at the ceiling or whatever like wherever you are it's like what you're scared of is not actually happening in the moment and what you're scared of the route to it is that people don't love you or that you're unloved or you're unworthy and that's where they kind of usually stem from which is not true so it's not it's not real, you know? And acknowledging those kind of truths is so important. Um, but yeah, I'm going out for drinks tonight. I obviously said in my last video that like, um, I haven't been like home or felt home anywhere and I've, that's really like, really like solidified in the past few days where it's like I don't feel home anywhere. Um, but it's that thing of like, I was just like to Ellie, like I don't know what to do. Like I just don't know what to do. And she was just like, you don't have to do anything. Like just, you know, surrender and it's fine. Like I just have to surrender to what, this is all here for a reason and everything's here for a reason, it's fine. And like, um, things will fall into place, you know. Like that, it goes like that. You can't see anything. Oh! My little bird. Aww! Aww! It's really bad. You're so warm. My mom calls me chicken. Oh, I don't call you pet. Oh, no. Do you get your pet? Like, Isn't it so like, nice when she hugs you? Like yeah. earlier, I was just like, and she was hugging me, and it's so nice. My dad always calls me battle. I was just thinking about love because obviously everyone's always trying to like figure it out, if you know what I mean, like romantic love. And um, it's just like, it's just so shit. Because um, this person comes in, like this person opens up this other part of you and it's, it's the only person that opens that up and it holds the key to it you know what I mean and like like waters it and loves it and like nourishes it and then and then it's just like that part of so that's why they feel like they're a part of you because they open up a part of you and they like see a part of you that no one else has seen so that that's why it feels like when they go away, it feels like a part of you is gone because you don't. No one's opening up or looking at that part of you anymore, or appreciating that appreciating that part of you anymore, and no one's appreciating that part of them anymore. But sometimes I'm just scared that I just say really stupid shit, and then you're like, I can't even tell if I'm just hitting the nail on the head or I'm just saying something really stupid. So it's just like a risk every time. So it's fun. I just want to just move out of Dublin so bad because I actually hate it and I think I'm going to move somewhere down the country guys because I really don't like the city and I don't know why I thought I liked the city but I don't um I really don't like the city like why did I think that I liked the city I don't know because I'm young and I want to like get all the kind of partying out of my system I guess and like but I feel like the city just makes me want more and more and more and just makes my ego like, like, like go off, if you know what I mean. Like, it's just like, okay, like, I need to go be in town and I need to see all these people. It's just so much stimulus all the time that I don't need and that I don't want because I'm so overwhelmed so easily. And the only times I actually enjoy Dublin is when it's calm or I'm walking by myself and it's calm. Um, last night I remember I was like, I wish I could just tell you what everything, but it's fine. But last night I was like, last night it was like, I had such like a, it was so crazy. Cause it was like, I was obviously like <laughs> a bit out of it. Like, but like, I was like listening to music and I was looking at everyone. And I just felt like this big observer. And I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. And it made me feel so free. And it made me feel like I was just watching a big world. And it was so fun. So I was just like, because I didn't even know, like, I was, like, I'm going to my mom's house, I guess, but, like, I didn't really know where I was going to sleep, because, like, that's, like, every night, it's, like, where am I going to sleep tonight, do you know what I mean, like, not in, like, a homeless way, but, like, also in, like, a bed hopping way, if you know what I mean, um, um, so it kind of felt like that, it was kind of fun, it's so, oh, I wish, like, I feel like, 
I surrender to the flow of the universe. I surrender to the flow of the universe. Okay. Basically, like, see what I just did there? Like, I just got upset because I was like, oh my god, this is upsetting me, like, this thing. And then I was like, I need to do something about it. It doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right, so I need to... And it's just like, it's not in my control, so calm down. It's just things that aren't in my control. I'm like, oh my god, like, what do I do? And it's like, come on. Like, I surrender to the flow of the universe. It's so good. I surrender to the flow of the universe. I surrender to the flow of the universe. And I was saying that all last night. Sorry, I can't even remember what I was saying. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, last night. It was just really nice. But that's the only, the only thing I like about being in the city is that I can be invisible and I can like watch everyone and I like like being the observer. But like, that's it. Like, I don't like the city. I don't like as well bumping into people that I don't like all the time. Um in Dublin and like I don't like a lot of people in Dublin like the majority of people I just don't like them like not even in that way but like I just like just don't relate if you know what I mean like I just it's just not my buzz if you know what I mean like they're just not my buzz at all so I actually think I'm going <laughs> that makes me want to cry I think I'm gonna move down to the country that's my answer oh my god do you ever get that, like, when it just makes sense? Also, I'm learning to drive. I booked my theory test, and I am doing this shit on my phone. Like, Dublin is so bad, and I don't like it. It's just, like, Dublin is, like, shinier and stuff like that. But I just like to hide away, and, like, I don't want to be in, like, the... I don't know what to call it. I don't want to be doing bits like I just want to like live an idle life like I just <laughs> sorry that's so funny it's, it just came out of my mouth funny but like I just want to like um make my hours and be able to like make money out of it but not have to be like Sushi Creef is doing bits <laughs> do you know what I mean is my hair I can't even or like even with my music I don't want it to be like Sushi Creep is doing bits. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want that. And that's why I don't want to do my gig because it's like, that's what I feel like. It's like, Sushi Creep is doing bits. Like, that's not what I'm doing. I don't want to do bits. I just want to, like, have a good time and enjoy myself and be happy and just, like, guys, that's all I want. And that's what all everyone wants, but, like, everyone's just too full in Dublin like everyone's just like doing bits all the time and it's so boring and I just don't want to be around people like that it's just so boring of like doing bits <laughs> sorry but like every everything in Dublin is so like I'm not trying to show Dublin because I actually love Dublin also like I actually love Dublin and recently actually I've been like I love Dublin and I want to learn all the history and I love the culture of Dublin so much and I love all that stuff and like this guy I know makes poems about it and I just love them so much and I need to text him and tell him because I actually love them so much and it makes me love Dublin so much and isn't that so nice for your like poems to move someone into being like I love Dublin so much because I just never feel that but like his poems make me so like feel so warm and like love Dublin but like I love Dublin but like it's just everything is so like it's I love pure Dublin but like it's just so like the nights out you go to like the event even the event itself is like i'm doing this event this is my event and these are the people djing and i'm the dj and i'm the person that's listening to the techno and able to like listen to the techno because i like techno like am i actually just spitting facts around my nose like isn't that so true like the whole thing like every person involved is like doing bits in some way even if they're a consumer they're kind of better than everyone else because they're the better consumer like um do you know what i mean and it's like everything's like that in a competition and it's not about like people being free and happy to dance which is what it should be it should be like everyone just like in this free like in this space where they can like be free and dance and have fun and like like kiss each other and like make love to each other you know what i mean and like connect with each other but it's like and that's what they pretend that it is but it's not it's like 
all about like bullshit and sorry to be a hater but like do you know what I mean like I'm being a hater but I'm not trying to be a hater I'm just trying to like point out the facts like do you know what I mean like I'm not trying to be a hater but like isn't that so true I feel like everyone knows that but like they're just like it's fine do you know what I mean and I'm just over it like I just want to be around people who are like who like feel bad about themselves I want to be around people who are insecure in the right way in the classic way do you know what I mean like that's what I want oh yeah so yeah and also like I only like being around my family and like <laughs> okay I only like being around my family <laughs> I only like being around my family and my friends so it's like I actually don't like being around anyone else so like why would I ever like and I'm happy about that like I'm happy with that and that those things kind of things used to depress me when people would say that be like oh well, I'm happy with the friends I have because I was like always going out like trying to connect with people but it's like it's right there in front of you like connection is right there in front of you you don't need to like connect with loads of people to feel like you're functioning or to feel like love do you know you have everything in front of you which is your family or like your one friend or whatever or your dog or whatever like it's right in front of you and that's all i need and that's all i want and that's when i feel most fulfilled and happy is when i'm around those people like don't you do you know what i mean but like we feel the need to like you know look for more all the time um because it's there it's right there for us so we feel like and everyone else is doing it so like you know and like I, see like for example i would be sober if everyone else is sober do you know and like stuff like that it's just wild it's like your environment affects you so much uh so i don't want to be in dublin and i don't i feel weird i just feel like a black sheep in dublin and i don't black sheep i hate that saying and i hated that i said that a black sheep it's just really weird sorry i just yeah i just don't feel right here it just doesn't feel right i feel like my heart is tainted by it or something where it's like I feel like an asshole right now talking about this but I don't mean it in an asshole way I just feel like it's like I'm not trying to be like oh my god my art is just like so pure and everyone else's is rotting and like that's literally not what I'm saying at all like I think everyone art, art, art is art, art is better than mine but anyway love you